Breaker Breaker, what, nine? This is the Dominator with EJP Transport. When I'm not running up and down the highway, loading and unloading my wagon, I'm watching Tim on Life is Good. Come on. This is uh, Highway 95, about 400 miles north of Las Vegas, Nevada. Gonna run this all the way to Kingman. First of all, we gotta get past this uh, our best truck, whatever it is he's doing. Between 50 and 55 and 65. But it's weird, he speeds up going up the hills. Whatever else he's doing, 50. I don't, I don't get it. But hopefully, um, we get that passing lane up here. Someone will blow his doors con it's extremely windy it's kind of a what's the right side they call that starboard port of course it's not a boat but passenger side it's kind of hitting the passenger side uh, pretty good wind too but it's a beautiful day 83 degrees absolutely gorgeous See, we sped up. Now we're doing. Now we're doing 55. But it looks like he's going to slow right now. He just he's fluctuating. I don't know. Uh, it's not because he's heavy. Because he pulls the grades faster than he does. Uh, this is the first grade he slowed down on right here. But yeah, I've had enough of the guy. You know, and I can understand if you're heavy, slow down, pulling the grades, but. The last few inclines, he sped up, and uh, this is a big one here, so he's dropping it. But anyway, it's a beautiful ride. I probably should put the Hero Five on the on the dash and do time lapse. But then, got to add music and blah blah. Nobody really likes the music ones. Well, I shouldn't say nobody. I get I get a few, but you know you put one up, you get. 2,500 hits versus 15,000 hits, but uh, anyway. <sighs> so now we got a flat spike on slow back down. Alright, we'll see y'all on the next uh, beautiful uh, view point. What's this guy doing? far can you guys see? There's a long ways across over there. You got here and have mechanical trouble, you're in trouble. We're out of gas or whatever. bunch of nothing.
think it's a mirage. Looks like there's water down there, but I think I think it's just a a mirage. So to listen to John Denver. We got it going on. Come on. But we're not in Colorado. We're we are in Nevada. Super windy Nevada. Look well, how deep that water is. You could probably jump off right here and go diving. Buddy mine was telling me about a naval diving training site. I wonder if that's it. But I don't see anything around it, so I guess not. He said it was out in the middle of nowhere. And this is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> I don't know where the middle of nowhere is, but I think this is it. I'm ready for a nap. It's only 2 o'clock local time. beach quarter mile so the 20 miles is in a quarter mile what's that ah, I think this would be it right here so you think that beach is really 20 miles what don't you do there's a camper down there the guy's got the whole 20 mile beach to himself Well, you have to admit though I mean I, I left the camera off for a little bit there but this is pretty nice you know and I get paid to do this amazing Is that a goat sign? We've seen we've seen a cow sign, we've seen horse signs, and that's a a goat or a ram. Kind of like a ram in the picture, didn't it? But we have seen a bunch of wild horses today. And I'd tell you a story about it, open range territory, but it's quite lengthy. They say open range, they mean it. I have a strange number calling me. You guys hold on, we right back. Unbelievable. That is some pretty green water, is it not?
so this is uh, one part of the country I have never been to. Can't talk, sorry about that. I have never been to this part of the country. It is uh, quite spectacular. I always enjoy going somewhere I've never been. No engine brakes. Well, I'm not turning it off. Can't hear my truck run anyway. Yeah. Uh, sorry, that the phone rang, and um, I think that that's a huge military base and the world's largest ammunition storage facility. We yeah, just went past on our right side, and. Uh, like there's even some bunkers over to the left. So, and that was the lake, I think, that the naval diving, training, or whatever it was. It's a beautiful piece of water. So, yeah, pretty cool, man, pretty cool. So, we are 310 miles north of Vegas. Strange. 
range. Getting good fuel mileage with a tailwind. Crew says 68, speed on 70, and we're just easing along. Turbo's not even working. You hear how quiet it is? Beautiful. We are not so far away from the hills now. Just been riding and riding and riding. Just a whole lot of nothing. Just north of a quarter tank of fuel. So hopefully we'll find a TA. Always one in Vegas. Um, I just don't know if we're gonna be on 15 at all, I guess. I don't know, you know, because 95, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that I have never ever done this. We'll figure it out. It's only 227 miles to Kingman. TA there. I'm pretty sure we can make it to there. And then go spend the night at Shine A Trucks Bay. Get our shine on. Truck needs a spa day. Now wait till I get halfway through the town, turn the camera on. Jeez. I don't know what town this is, we just made the left. Now we got 99 miles to the next turn. Mail's Diner. Help wanted. If I need a job, said a local sheriff back there had somebody pulled over. He had uh, <laughs> took an old fire truck, made a pickup truck out of it. Had somebody pulled over, and he had all the he had the cowboy hat, and boots. We thought we was out of the 25 mile zone. We got the gas. We're not out of it yet. Hornet territory. There you go. Now we're out of it. Go from 25 to 45. Beep, beep. Las Vegas, 115 miles. Holy smokes. This was definitely the slow way to go. Well, I don't know. It was uh, 585 miles or something to get to Kingman. And you was going to be an all day job, so.
to be one boring vlog unless you guys want to talk about something. I don't know what you want to talk about. I got lots of video out of Gremlins to discuss. But it would create a, a backlash. I wanted to do that at a table sitting type deal. Not ruin this beautiful scenery. Okay, see you. Well, I thought I'd give you guys one last look before it gets dark. Still got 146 more miles of this uh, 95 to go to get to Cayman. Uh, luckily, we have seen that last 100 mile stretch of it several times. Uh, I try to put a tab up here at the top, but it's it's hard for me to link. Uh, those videos because they were so long ago uh, YouTube doesn't allow me to go back that far for whatever reason I don't know why I, if I knew I, I mean I could copy paste the URL I gotta go blah blah blah, blah. Uh, anyway if you just touch the playlist you can scroll through it easier and uh, if you want to see uh, those videos uh, from Vegas to Kingman several of them uh it's worth checking out even did uh, even did a video with the hoover dam put in some vacation footage of the hoover dam so you guys go check that out uh as if you click the uh watch all the idiotic, idiotic ramblings by halfway through you'll see those videos uh yeah, it's worth checking out you know so there you go hope you guys enjoyed the ride We'll see you in the morning, probably. We might do another one tonight, I doubt it, but you guys won't be able to see anything, so uh, we'll just see you on the next clip, whenever that is. It's kind of the outskirts of Vegas. Vegas. We're still on 515, so we're just skirting. Well, there's the golden nugget. Sounds like I forgot to put my, uh, I have like a little, uh, pan to keep my bananas, bread, that kind of stuff in, along with the cardboard packaging that the turntable for the microwave came in. I put all that back in the microwave. Keeps that turntable plate weighted down so it doesn't rattle. Sounds like I forgot to put it. 
back in the microwave a while ago. We are looking for a fuel stop. Express would be good, wouldn't it? We could probably get off this 515. Look at one 15 south. I don't know enough about this area to know where they are. Watching idiotic rambling with life is good. Keep the wheels turning and the chicken lights burning. Come on. Oh, and uh, don't forget your high speed chicken feed there, Roger.